In this video, I'm going to show you how to set the clock on the FED3. If you look at your FED3, it tells you the time right down here on the bottom. If the time's not accurate, you can reset it. The way you're going to do this is by opening the bottom and attaching a micro USB cable from your computer to this internal micro USB port. Just as a point of clarity, the internal one is what you use to flash code. There's also an external micro USB port, which you can use for charging, but not for flashing code. Um, and to set the clock, we need to flash it. So you're going to connect this to the inside. You're going to double click this little button. And if you look down in there, there's a red LED that should start breathing. And that means it's in a bootloader mode and it's ready to accept code. Now we're going to go to the Arduino um, IDE. And I've already loaded this up, the set clock script, but I'll show you where to find it. If you look under examples and you go to the Fed3 examples in the library, there's a directory called set clock, and then it's the set clock script. To make sure Arduino is seeing the Fed3, we're going to go to tools. And we need to set two things here. We need to make sure we have the right board. This is the Adafruit Feather M0. Um, and you can look, read about the Feather M0 online if you're not seeing um, the ability to select this. Um, or maybe we'll cover that in a different video. And then you also need to see the port. So the port here, the Arduino fig finds it. It's on COM74. So I'm going to select that. Now if I look at tools, I see that I have the Feather M0 and the COM port. So go ahead and flash that. It'll take it a minute to compile it and flash it. You can watch the progress down here. And you should see 100% or um, some verify successful something down on the bottom. If we now look at the screen of the Fed3, we'll see that it has the correct time. And it's telling us to reflash the device code, because um, right now all it has on it is this set clock script. And we want to have the, the Fed3 operational scripts. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to double click that, that button to get it into breathing mode. I'm now going to go back here. Let's go back to these examples. Um, and I'll do the classic Fed3 example. If I look at tools, I see that the board is still selected. At port, I need to select it again. And now I'm going to flash this one. Same deal. It'll take it a minute or two to compile, and then it'll upload it. 